Hey everybody, Justin Cener here. Welcome to the product research video here inside of the bootcamp. This is gonna be a really powerful video. I'm gonna teach you all about the different ways to do product research, the different styles. And I first wanna talk about product research mode and you see that I put that in quotes there. This is something that I've been saying for a long time. And as soon as you enter into having an e-commerce store, if you're doing print on demand or even if you're doing drop shipping, you need to be in product research mode 24-7, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. You always need to be looking for new products. And there's an old saying in print on demand, they say the more that you launch, as in de uh, designs, as products, the more designs you launch, the more money you're gonna make. Same with drop shipping. the more products you launch, the more money you're going to make. And it can get very hard to launch more products if you don't have a constant queue of product research ideas, links, images, stats, all that. And that's the whole reason why you do product research in the first place. To have a huge ready to go list of product design ideas for print on demand and product ideas for drop shipping or sourcing. So really, you know, kind of a basic concept there. And the whole idea behind having a queue of products or a product list, whatever you want to have, basically just, you know, having a list of products that you want to launch is the ability to add in consistency into your business. We're talking about saying, well, let's say I have 100 products and I want to launch eight products every week. Well, what is that, uh, 12, you know, 13 weeks worth, 14 weeks worth of products right in there. So you'd be able to say, I have my business planned out for three, four months at a time just because you do your product research. So the longer your product research list, the longer you have for your business to be totally planned out and ready to go. And all you need to do as an entrepreneur is just focus on making those sales. So uh, types of research, right? There are definitely different types of uh, research that are out there, but I bucket them into two different groups. Number one, tools. This is basically exactly what it sounds like. You're gonna use a product research tool, something that is built specifically for product research. I'll go more into that later. Another way to do it is organic, or what other people will call is free, right? Basically not using any you know specific tools, just using what's out there, Google, Facebook, Instagram, right? Searching, right? Literally just keeping your eyes open living inside the niche, which is something so important, you know, whatever you're selling, you should be an expert inside the niche, you should eat, sleep and breathe, let's say you're selling uh, tennis rackets, you should eat, sleep and breathe everything about tennis, let's say you're selling funny cat shirts, you should follow all the pages about cats and watch all the funny videos about cats and know all the memes about cats. Very important, right? That's kind of, of course, free, right? That's just you paying attention and spending your time and energy looking at things. And free is great. Uh, you should always be doing that. You're going to be in product research mode 24-7, so that should kind of just be baked in to you know, your typical social media use. Hopefully, you're seeing things that are relevant to your niche. But we want to be a lot more direct than that, and we want to be you know, a lot smarter with our time. We want to use tools. And by using a tool, it's basically going to give us the ability to, let's say, search through uh, a Shopify store or search through you know, a uh, specific advertising network like Facebook ads or TikTok ads or search through products that are, you know, print on demand, right? Having the ability to have this search, this is why you use tools. And you're going to see in this video, I'm going to use Zeek Analytics. I've got a lot of videos on Zeek Analytics. I've been using them because really they're the best tool, not only for print on demand, you're going to see it in action. Great tool to find winning t-shirt print on demand designs but also great for finding winning drop shipping designs, uh, I'm sorry, winning drop shipping products, single product stores, finding out all these different things about the store results. Not just understanding what the store is selling, but how many they're selling, what the revenue is, what the sales counts are, what apps are being used. Really incredible uh, tool here, and you see it on the screen. See the link below this video. A lot of bootcamp members are jumping into Zeek Analytics because I'm going to show you, you know, the ability to really do everything in terms of product research. And I'm going to show you the core features, but really what it's going to give you is the ability to unlimited search on all these different networks, for example, on Shopify. You could literally search through Shopify stores, seeing what they're selling, and we could have different store types. You could literally just click off different filters. I'll show you over the shoulder, different examples uh, featured on some big sites 
really kind of just uh, uh, the, the best tool. You know, that's the bottom line. There's been a lot of tools out there over the years. The most successful tools have showed actual sales counts. And this is kind of small over here. I'll show you as we do examples. But this is going to show you, you know, not only the amount of sales, but the amount of revenue, how many were sold today, when the product was added into the store, and then where, if any, advertising was posted, let's say on TikTok ads or on Pinterest ads or on Meta ads, you're going to see it inside of Zeek Analytics. Really, it's got a shocking amount of data. You're going to be able to discover leading Shopify stores. You'll see everything about the store, sales, products, social channels apps that they use, right? You want to go ahead and understand what print-on-demand provider your competitors use. This app is going to tell you all that. You'll literally be able to search just for print-on-demand stores on Shopify. It's incredibly powerful. Tons and tons of sellers using this. I just highly recommend it. If you have been following me for a long time, you might remember a tool called T-Spy. This is really the new... Uh, T-Spy has unfortunately gone away, but this is the new way to do t-shirt research because just like T-SPY, it actually has the historic sales data. And that's what's so important about this tool. You know, a lot of different features in here. You'll find market insights and sales tracker, store finder, product explorer. But the bottom line is you'll immediately jump into this tool and start doing design research for your print-on-demand store. And you'll see exactly what is selling, what is selling today, what is selling yesterday. You can go and do different filters in there. Do, let's say, last seven days or last 21 days really powerful because it's got the sales data. And again, if you were around during the time when T-SPY was around, you knew that it was, that was just a, a pretty much required tool if you were going to succeed with print on demand. So now we have Zeek Analytics. Uh, I'm going to show you videos in the boot camp here about uh, how to do it for how to do research for print on demand. So we'll break that down, show you some examples, show you a video on how to do this for drop shipping. I'll show you a case study, a pretty cool case study as well, and a little bit more. So uh, definitely a lot more to cover on Zeek Analytics. You see the link uh, inside here in the boot camp. Really powerful tool, and uh, we'll go further into it in the next couple of boot camp videos.